Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing this shift boot, uh, which we've got here, uh, armrest cover, which we've got here, and then handbrake boot, which we've got here, uh, all into the Subaru. Uh, these are all matching like a black kind of suede finish. Uh, so I'm kind of keen to bring that, bring the interior together a little bit with these bits, because I'm currently running no shift boot at all. So you can see inside the WX here, we've got no shift boot currently sitting down here. The handbrake boot's a bit worn out, but so is the handbrake itself. And then we've got the armrest here, which is a little bit old, but you know, kind of early early 2000s interior so it's all a bit scratched up and stuff so yeah let's get into it and see what we can do well the shift boot itself is going to be pretty pretty self-explanatory because i don't really have a lot on there so we'll just kind of unscrew the shift knob Now for you, if you were doing this at home kind of thing, or if you're just looking, watching me, uh, if you've got a shift boot here, you kind of got to flip it over and this plastic tab that's on the inside is going to be held in a bit more firm because there's going to be fabric around it. But you just basically have to remove this plastic tab, which will have your original shift boot glued to it. So you can see here, I've got the this plastic tab removed. You can see the glue residue around there from where it used to be. Um, and then you can see this is basically what holds the shift boot on. So I'm going to go ahead and try and lay it all out so I can get it all installed. It's a bit hard for me to video because I've only got, you know, two hands and it's kind of a two hand job. But you slowly just start by clipping one end in and then you need to feed it around. And in the end you'll get it clipped in absolutely perfect and it will look really good which is just like this. Um, so then you just go ahead and clip it all back in and it's really straight. So the next bit to install is going to be the handbrake boot. And so to do this, I'm going to need to unscrew these two screws here uh, and two screws here so I can lift up this trim bit itself because I believe I need to have the underside of this trim out to have access to that. Once we've got these screws out, just unclip the handbrake boot down there, pull it up and it was pretty straightforward. It just kind of lifts up and off and then it's time to play around and see what we can do here. So getting the handbrake boot out was really easy as the teeth sat in and you just needed to unlock the tooth at the top and then the rest of them came out. Uh, so now I need to peel the actual handbrake boot off itself and then I can go ahead and get the new one on. I got it all back in there and it looks really good. Uh, I got the button at the front to clip underneath the handbrake just as before so it's time to put it back in the car. So we got it all back in there, looks really good, all screwed up. Now it's just time to put the, this bit back in. So you can see this has gone really well. You got the nice new shift boot there, and then the matching handbrake boot there. Now the only bit left is to put on is this armrest cover, which goes on there. So let's do that. Now I have literally no idea what I'm doing, but I reckon I need to take this off, and it unscrews here, 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 here. And I reckon it actually sits in the back. So what I'm gonna do is undo these two screws here, which should allow me to take the whole thing out. So I was right, you just undo the two screws to take it off there, take it off. Uh, two more screws on the inside and then you completely lift it off uh, and then this is where the armrest cover will go over So it's fallen down now. So I'll do that all off and show you the end result. Okay guys, so you can see I got this suede boot cover in the handbrake there and then I've also got the armrest cover all tucked in there I absolutely love them. They all tie in really well. Awesome upgrade. I think it was like 110 bucks from a website named Top Stitch in America. I'll drop a link down below. That's Australian. So if you're in America, it's pretty cheap. But yeah, absolutely awesome. I think it changes it up quite a bit. It's a pretty neat install. Um, you can see underneath here. You can barely even tell it was changed. Um, not too much movement on the top either. Um, but enough for it to not be too tight. But fit well so yeah really good product um, yeah all hand stitched by a guy over there um, but yeah really awesome turnaround as well I think shipping was like oh, five days which is pretty good for halfway around the world um, and then I think it took him like two weeks to make them which is pretty good because he's probably got other orders and stuff but yeah uh, thanks for watching guys leave a like or any comments if you got anything uh, but yeah thanks for watching subscribe to see more I got a lot of content coming and big things for the Subaru but yeah peace